Hi, my name is Joe Hart, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then you should do that now. I'll wait. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I am going to show you how to play ukulele in less than five minutes. If you can play guitar, even just basic open chords, you can play ukulele in a matter of minutes. It's just a simple switch that you have to start sort of think um, slightly differently, a little switch in your brain that you have to flick. So the ukulele, the strings are tuned similar to a guitar. It's like the top four strings on a guitar, the four highest strings on a guitar. And this string, which on the guitar would be the D string, is tuned an octave higher on a ukulele. So that string is actually higher than that one when on a guitar it would be lower. But other than that, the relationship is the same between these four strings and the four highest strings on a guitar. So since the relationship remains the same, it's really easy to transfer chords that you already know onto ukulele. What you need to do is just think capoing at the fifth fret. On a guitar, if you capo at the fifth fret, then all of the open chords that you already know will translate over to ukulele. So of course, capoing at the fifth fret on a guitar changes all the open chords. So a D chord in open position on a guitar, D chord, you strum it, it's a D. If you capo at the fifth fret and play that D shape, you're now actually fretting the seventh, eighth, and seventh frets with the capo being the fifth fret. That now changes it to a G. So on a guitar, capo to the fifth fret, playing that D shape is a G chord. So if you grab a guitar, put a capo at the fifth fret, play that D shape, strum, it is a G chord. On a ukulele, that D shape with no capo, because it's already tuned like it's capo on a guitar, that D shape is a G chord. Luckily on ukulele, usually you're just strumming chords. It's a rhythm instrument more than a, a lead melodic instrument, although it certainly can be used for that. Uh, but it's usually just a, a rhythm kind of chordal instrument, and the sound of the ukulele is all four strings strummed. So on a guitar, a D chord, you only strum uh, the f last four strings anyway. You don't have to worry about that with ukulele. You just strum all the chords for all the, uh, all the strings for all the chords. So a D shape, five frets up, is a G. So on a ukulele, it's a G. A uh, G shape on a guitar, five frets up, ends up being a C chord. So if you don't believe me, try it, but trust me. It's a C chord. So on a, a ukulele, the last four strings, it's a C. Uh, if you play, say, the C shape, okay, where it's zero, one, zero, second fret, on a guitar, you would then, on the A string, have the third fret. In strum, it's a C chord. On a ukulele, it's five frets up, so that's an F. There are some chords that are a little bit weird, like a C shape on a guitar. There's no easy open C minor shape. You end up using a bar chord. You can still do that on a ukulele. So it would be that is an F minor. It's a C minor on a guitar. It's an F minor on a ukulele, five frets up. Uh, for those that know intervals, it's a perfect fourth up. So that is an F minor. But since we're now getting up to the fifth fret on a ukulele, the just construction of the instrument and the sound that we're used to hearing, that now is starting to lose the ukulele ring to it. So some chords, like I was saying, an F minor, I would play like this. And it gives you more of the ukulele sound. So an F major. F minor instead of jumping up to that sound. See how that doesn't quite have a ukulele sound to it? This F minor does. So you can certainly look up some of the chords that you don't know uh, off the top of your head from transferring guitar. But 
really simple. You just move everything up five frets, up a perfect fourth, and you have ukulele chords. So a G becomes a C, a D on a guitar becomes a G, a D7 on a guitar becomes a G7 on a ukulele, uh, an E minor would become an A minor, an E major become an A major. Really simple. So I hope this helps people and bam, if you can play guitar, you can now play ukulele. I hope you didn't lie to me when you said you were subscribing earlier in the video. So subscribe now. And that's about it. Stay tuned and I'll have lots more fun and interesting videos for you. Thank you.